morning, friends. I've been missing you, my Sunday school friends and frog friends and my lighthouse friends. I wanted to tell you a story today from the Bible, from God's holy word. It's about Jesus entering Jerusalem. I'd really like you to draw some pictures while I am, so go get some paper and some crayons or pens and come on back, and then we'll begin. This story is about a parade. Have you ever been to a parade? Yeah, I have too. I go to the 4th of July parade in Mission Springs sometimes. I love that one. Downtown Modesto and all the lights. It's really fun to go to a parade. This is a different kind of parade that we're going to hear about today. It's from the Bible and it's in Mark 10, 1 through 11. Sorry, Mark 11, 1 through 10. Luke 19, 28 through 40. And I'm going to draw some things, and I want you to as well. The first thing I'm going to draw, you all know what this is. That's right, the number three. Can you see that okay? For three years, Jesus had traveled around the country of Israel, teaching people about God. He had fed the hungry people and made the sick people well. And wherever Jesus went, people came from all over to see him. Here are the people. Very easy to draw that. You can do it. Here's Jesus. And he's teaching the people. Wherever Jesus went, people came from all over to see him. I'm going to erase mine as I go so that I have more room so you can see. You can keep yours though. Now Jesus was going to Jerusalem where God's temple was. He was going to celebrate the holiday of Passover in Jerusalem. But Jesus wasn't only going to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. He knew that it was time to show people that he was the Savior, called the Messiah, that God had promised to send. Now we're going to draw a J. It's going to be a sideways J. Like this. And this is going to be Jerusalem. Here's how we're going to do that. Just make some lines that look kind of like a city. Almost a castle. Maybe a roof on there, roof on there, need some windows, the door, draw a path going to the door. You can color yours in later. I'm going to leave mine like this. So he was going to Jerusalem where God's temple was, and as his friends walked toward Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of his disciples, his helpers, to bring him a donkey. Now we're going to draw a donkey right over here. It's not that hard. First we have a U. And let's just give some ears to our donkey. Draw his neck. Now another U. Sideways for his body. It's not hard. Legs. Give him a little hair on his back. Don't forget the tail. See where he's going. There's our donkey. Then the disciples returned with the donkey. They threw their coats over the donkey's back, and Jesus sat on the donkey and rode it up the road to Jerusalem. The world's most important parade was just about to begin. Let's draw the road that the donkey was on. There, he's riding on the road now. As Jesus rode toward Jerusalem, the news spread quickly. Jesus is coming! Crowds gathered along the road, shouting, singing, and waving palm branches. 
Some even spread their coats and lay palm branches on the roadway like a beautiful carpet. This was the way the people welcomed a great king. They called out, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes. Hosanna in the highest. Now, this is why this is important. We're gonna have a little palm branch that we put on the road here. This Sunday is called Palm Sunday. Sorry, mine doesn't look that great. You can draw them all over the road. Now, some people thought that Jesus, the Messiah, would be a mighty king, a fierce warrior to save them from the Romans who had taken over their country. I'm going to change colors. I'm going to grab the purple now. Tell me what you think this is. Good, you're right, it's a crown. Wherever, whatever their reasons were, the people were coming from everywhere to join the shouting and singing crowd to see the king. Soon the people in Jerusalem heard the noise. Let's draw those people. That's why we kept Jerusalem up here. Draw some people peeking over. What is going on? Who is coming, they asked. Now many more people ran from their houses into the streets of Jerusalem. Jesus rode through the shouting, singing crowds, and it seemed like everyone had come to greet the king. Now I need to make a little space, so I'm gonna erase a few things. Bye-bye, donkey. Now you can draw a big rectangle and some more rectangles on the inside. Do you know what I'm drawing? And a couple ends up here for the rooftop. This is the temple. So when Jesus got to the temple, he got off of the donkey and went into the temple, and some children walked with him, waving their palm branches and singing, Hosanna, Hosanna. The temple leaders growled at Jesus. Do you hear what they are singing to you? Make them be quiet. Jesus told the leaders, these children are right to sing praises to me. In fact, if they were not praising me, the rocks would shout out to praise me. I love that. Now Jesus, oops, I gotta re erase this first before I go on. Jesus showed the people that he is the Messiah sent from God, but he would not become the kind of king some people expected. Instead, Jesus knew it was almost time for him to die on a cross. Our next picture. To pay for all of the wrong things people have done, you and I have done these bad things. Then all people would become part of God's family. Jesus knew this was God's good plan, but for now, Jesus waited. Jesus is the great King of Kings. He loves us all so very much. He was willing to die so that we could be part of God's family. I'm part of God's family. And you can be part of God's family, too. The more we know about Jesus, the more reasons we have to praise him every day. Let's say a prayer right now to Jesus. Can you fold your hands? Can you close your eyes? Let's pray to Jesus. 
Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for these children that you love. Father God, I thank you so much for Jesus. He loves each one of us. He loves us so much that he went to the cross for us to save us from our sins. Thank you, Jesus, that we can be part of your family. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Thanks for joining me today. That was fun. We'll have some more stories soon. Okay. Bye. Love you.